subscribe to my channel today we continue to chapter 6 alternating current in this video we are going to discuss on 6.3 resistance reactance and impedance so this is part 2 we will start from example 9 so example 9 here a 2 micro farad capacitor and 1000 ohm resistor are placed in series with the alternating voltage source of 12 volt and the frequency is 50 hertz okay so meaning that for this alternating source it connect with a capacitor and also a a resistor okay so this is c this is r where here we have vc equals to ixc and this is vr equals to ir okay of course our v source is equal to i impedance okay so now for questions a find the current flowing through okay if you want to find the current okay we can use v okay so, uh, so we can find impedance by using this I equation impedance is hidden to r okay square plus x impedance squared. we don't have but v source we have so since we don't have xl so we don't to consider the xl okay so the resistor is 1000 okay plus xc okay here we don't have xc we only have the capacitor c so we can find xc equals to 1 over 2 pi fc Okay, so we substitute in the value first 1 over 2 pi f is 50 c is 2 microfarad therefore xc we will get 1592 ohm so i substitute in 1592 ohm and remember to square okay so the impedance or the r total is equal to 1880 ohm okay so i equals to okay i substitute in first therefore i will equal to 6.38 exponent negative 3 ampere Okay, next, part B, find the voltage across the capacitor, meaning that we want to find Vc. So Vc is equal to I xc, okay, where I is 6.38 exponent negative 3, xc we already found just now, 1592. Therefore, voltage across the capacitor is equal to 10.2 volt. C, find the phase angle of the circuit. Okay, so if you refer back here, our when I start from zero degree, V R in phase with the current, whereas V C let I by 90 degree. Therefore, our V source here, okay, our V source here is below the X exit. Okay, so this is V source and this is the phase angle theta. Okay, how to find phase angle? We can use tangent theta. Okay, either we use V C over V R, or if we don't have V C V R, we also can use xc over r okay so we will use the second equation since we have xc and also resistor so the value for xc just now is equal to 100 is equal to 1592 and the resistor is 1000 okay so the theta here we will get 1.01 radian if the calculator mode is in radian or 57.9 degree okay if your calculator in a degree mode okay so both also acceptable also correct Example 10, a circuit consists of a capacitor 1000 microfarad which connected in series with the lamp 2.5 volt, 0.3 ampere and the frequency is 50 hertz. Okay, so lamp here is actually one of the resistor. Okay, so meaning that this is RC series again. Now this is a RC series again. Okay, so here capacitor and this is the lamp connected with the alternating source. Okay, so this is actually a resistor. A lamp is actually a resistor. Okay, so number one, find the reactance of the capacitor and also resistance of the lamp. So we want to find the value for Xc and also the value for R. Okay, so Xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi Fc. So I substitute 2 pi, F is 50, C is 1000 microfarad. Therefore, Xc we will get 3.18 ohm. Okay, okay next we want to find the resistor. Okay, so 2.5 here is actually VR. Okay, so VR is equal to IR, where I is 0.3 and VR is 2.5. Therefore, R is equal to 2.5 over 0.3 and the final answer for the resistor of the lamp is 8.330. Okay, next we go to B. Okay, to find the impedance. Uh, impedance meaning that similar like R total, impedance is equal to R squared plus XC squared. So I substitute in R is 8.33 square, XC is 3.18 square. Okay, so the impedance of this circuit is equal to 8.92 ohm. Okay, next, 
equals to C. Find the voltage of the source. Find the voltage of the source. So V source is equal to I Z. Okay. Since we have already get the impedance, so we can use impedance. Okay. So zero point three impedance is eight point nine two. Therefore, we will get two point six eight volt. Okay. Of course, you also can use V source equals to V R square plus V C square. Okay, the problem here is we don't have VC. Okay, if you want to find uh, using this equation, you must find VC first. Then only you can find V source. Ah, uh, you will get the similar answer. Okay, D, find the voltage of the capacitor. Okay, now they ask us to find VC. Okay, so VC is equal to I at C, where I is zero point three, and X C just now we found is three point three point one eight. Okay, so if you press calculator, we will get zero point nine five volt. Okay, so if you substitute here, uh, zero point one. Nine five, okay. You also get the uh, V source, okay. But uh, if you use V source equals to I times the impedance, okay, this one is will be much more easier. Okay, next, explain why the total between the voltage across the capacitor and the lamp is not equal. Okay, it's not the same as the source voltage. Okay, so if you refer here, V source here is equals to two point six eight volt. Okay, then V R plus V C. Okay, V R just now is given uh, two point five. And then VC is 0 0.95, that's 2.5 plus 0 0.95. So the total up, we will get 3.45 volt. Okay, so the question asks us why V source not similar with VR plus VC. Okay, okay it is because uh, if you draw the facial diagram, when I start from 0 degree, VR are in phase. However, VC lacks I by 90 degree. Therefore, our V source, we cannot take VR plus VC because they are not in phase. Okay, so we must use theorem Pythagoras to find out V source or to find out the V resultant. Okay, so we can say because okay, because our V R not in phase with V C. Okay, not in phase with V C. Therefore, we cannot use V source equals to V R plus V C. Okay, so the keywords here is not in phase. Okay, example eleven. Okay, this is RCL series and they already give you VR. Okay, VR is equal to IR and the value is 153. Okay, and VC is equal to IXC and the value is 115 volt. Okay, VL is equal to IXL where it's equal to 314 volt. Okay, so based on the RCL series, okay, the RMS voltage across the RLC are shown. Okay, so with the aid of facial diagram, Determine the applied voltage and the phase angle. So we need to draw first uh, the uh, facial diagram. Okay, so when I start from zero degree, VR are in phase, VL leads I by 90 degree, whereas VC lets uh, VC lets V uh, lets I by 90 degree. Okay, so our VC, this is our VC. Okay, so based on the value they give you, VR is 153 volt, VL is 314 VC is 115. Okay, so if you refer here, actually VL we should draw longer because VL is almost 300. Okay, so we can draw our VL longer a bit. Okay, longer a bit. And VC actually should be shorter because only 115 volt. Okay, so determine the applied voltage. Okay, where if you refer here, VL is greater than VC. Okay, so if we take VL minus VC, okay, we will get roughly. Okay, so since VL is greater than VC, meaning that Y component as a resultant, it will come to above the Y exit. Okay, therefore our V source is actually above the X exit. Okay, this is our V source, this is angle theta. Okay, how to find V source? Huh? V source is equal to VR square plus VL minus VC square. Okay, X component plus Y component. Okay, we use general Pythagoras to find the resultant. Okay, so we substitute VR is 153 square. VL is 314, VC is 115, okay, therefore our V source is equal to 251 volt. Okay, next we want to find the phase angle. So phase angle, we can use tangent theta to find. Eh? Tangent theta is equal to Y component over X component. By Y component here, we have VL minus VC and X component, we have VR. Okay, so VL is 314 minus 115. And V resistor is 153. Okay, so you press calculator. Okay, we will get the answer is equal to 0 0.915 radian. Okay, if the calculator mode is still in radian. Or 
52.4 degree. Okay, so it depends on your calculator mode. Okay, if let's say your calculator mode in degree, you will get 52.4 degree. Okay, next we will go to B. Calculate the current flow in the circuit if the resistance of the resistor is 26 ohm. Okay, so since they give you the resistance, so meaning that we can use VR equals to IR. Okay, so VR, we refer back VR is actually 153, yeah? 153 equals to IR is 26 ohm. Therefore, I that flowing through the circuit is equal to 5.88 ampere. Okay, so this value I is actually similar because I uh, RCL is collected in series. So the value of I is actually similar for uh, VL, VC and VR. Okay, because it's connected in series. Okay, next we want to find the inductance and the capacitor if the frequency is given 50 hertz. Okay, so we want to find the value for L and also C. Okay, we can use the equation VL equals to IXL, okay, where XL is equal to 2 pi FL. Okay, so later we can find out the value for L. Okay, so before that we must find first what is the inductive reactance. Huh? Okay, VL just now VL is 314, 314, 314 and the current is 5.88 times XL. Okay, therefore XL is equal to 53.4 ohm. Okay, so I substitute inside here. So L will equal to 53.4 over 2 pi F. Huh? F is 50. Therefore, inductance is equal to 0 0.17 and the unit is Henry. Okay, next we want to find the value for C. So similar, VC is equal to IXC and XC is equal to 1 over 2 pi XC. Okay, so VC just now given is 115, current is 5.88. So, our value for XC will equal to 19.6 ohm. Then, we substitute inside the equation. A C will equal to 19.6 over 2 pi F, where F is 50 hertz. Therefore, the capacitive of the capacitance will equal to 1.62 power of negative 4 farad. Okay, the unit is farad. Okay, last one. Find the resonance frequency. Okay, so resonance frequency equation. Okay, so, so XC equals to 1 over 2 pi FC. So we substitute okay, it. So 1 over 2 is 2.83. Okay, L just now is 0 0.3 equals to 1 over 2 pi FC. Okay, therefore, therefore the resonance C frequency, the first capacitor, capacitor, the final answer, we will get 93.8 nanohertz. Okay, so this is the value for C. Okay, next, okay, find the next previous example 12. At the example resonance. 12, so again, uh, 200 when resistor, resonance happens, the impedance is equal to the R square plus the capacitance of C, R minus C, and series. So again, this is R, C, L, So when resonance happens, R, C, L, series, L must and connected with the alternating source of 250, so this is actually V source, V source, and also the frequency of 600 hertz. Okay, number one, calculate the inductive reaction and also the impedance reaction when resonance occurs. So when resonance occurs here, so meaning that our impedance is equal to R and the value for R is 200. VC must be equal to VR when the resonance happens. So we have next find the current. We can use the equation of at rest cells. So again, V equals to two pi F L. Now since we have the value for Okay, so if V here so we take the source, F is equal to L is zero point seven. So V source here, therefore X now is equal to two hundred fifty. Three fifty loss of power inside three hundred and fifty. Okay, equals so when I happen, X equals to I Z. Therefore, Z here is two hundred. C also equals to I eight three is equal to one point two five. So here, okay, they will have the same value. Okay, next we want to find the capacitor. Okay, next, the value for C. Sketch the facial diagram of the circuit. Okay, if we refer back, generally, if I start from 0 degree, VR will in phase, okay, VL leads and then VC lags I by 90 degree. Okay, so resonance happen, when resonance happen, VL is equal to VC or XL will equal to XC. Therefore, they will cancel each other. Okay, so when they cancel each other, there's no Y component. Huh? When there's no Y component, our V source will equal to VR. Okay, so the facial diagram where resonance happens is when I start from 0 degree, our V source will equal to VR. So this is the facial diagram when resonance happens. Okay, so that's all for this uh, subtopic. We will continue with the uh, next subtopic, 6.4, power and power factor. See you on next video. Bye.